The shelf is getting pretty full. That means it's time for another mailbag. Alrighty, first up, we have a pretty cool package I've been really looking forward to. This piece of equipment that I've wanted for a very, very long time. This is an arbitrary signal and waveform generator. And I'm not even going to take this out and set it up because this needs its own video and I can't wait to play with it a little later tonight. So expect a full video on this coming up. Got some more goodies for the CR-10. I got an entire spare hot end for the CR-10. I just got this off of Amazon. I'll post it down. I'll add it to my store, actually. These things have a great track record. They seem to be a great unit. And uh, I don't need it right now, but the day's going to come where I will. Uh, I did uh, go through one spare nozzle, so I'm down to only one, so I got some nozzles. And I actually, the PTFE tube that goes in, it's a Bowden style extruder, this filament guide tube. These little uh, pneumatic style fittings, uh, pressure fittings, uh, one was buggered up and that was actually backing out and causing me to get a buildup of filament in the, in, the uh, in where it shouldn't be in the hot end. So, got some spare of those. And I got some spare filament. This is a Maze 3D filament. I really love it. They were out of stock for a little while on the Silver PLA. They're back in stock from my local uh, Amazon supply, so I grabbed a roll. What do we got here? These, I believe, are ESP. Uh, I believe they're called NROM is the model. They're ESP 8266 style. Actually, I don't even remember. What are these? Let's see. ESP NROM 02s. Focus. Not going to focus. Cool thing about it. It's got a LiPo holder, uh, 18650 holder on the back side. So it's kind of like a self-contained Wemos board uh, with power switch and everything. So an onboard uh, battery management and all the cool stuff. So I'm going to give these a try. Next up, we got... What is this? Ah! It's a Sonoff. I've never played with one of these before. Some people commented on my Alexa uh, Wemos D1 video and said, why don't you just use a Sonoff? Why don't you just use a Sonoff? Well, I finally got one. We'll give it a go. Uh, I, I expect it's going to work fine. I don't like the form factor of these, but uh, we'll give it a try. We have some more Wemos boards. These are... ESP8266 boards on a on a large breakout. So we'll give these a go. There's a model number. Don't know much about them yet. I ordered them quite some time ago and do have one open. I wanted to give them a go. It's a Lowlin. So uh, I think these are, are pretty straightforward. CH340 USB chip on board. ESP8266 for Wi-Fi. We'll give it a try. It's got the it's AI Thinker vendor number, vendor name on there. We'll give it a go. Next up, some power leads for my lab power supply. I already have one of these and I love it so much I decided to have another. This is standard uh, banana jacks going in to this block as well as coming out the other end is all these cool connections that I really love. These little spring clip style, alligator clip, and even a USB. Handy dandy. We've got an LED matrix. I saw a really cool project using an ESP8266 to do a really neat YouTube subscriber count display uh, set right into a picture frame and I thought, what the heck, let's give it a try. And uh, this is the board that they use, the matrix that they use, so we'll give it a go. Next up, ESP8266 original ESP programmer. So I've never had one before that you could just plug into USB to program the original ASP8266s. Not that I use those anymore, but if I had a really small project, I think I would. I think we could give it a try. So neat little programmer. Next up, some 9 volt battery connectors. Nothing to it. Just barrel jacks. The ones that uh, the Arduinos have on board. It's pretty standard size. I forget the, the pitch of it. And just goes to a 9 volt battery. 
Never had very many of these, never had any in the lab. Sooner or later I was going to need one. Next up, some uh, headphone style jacks. These are uh, pin style to go through a circuit board. And I'll show you what we need these for. In this bag is some current transformers. And these are a clamp style current transformer and the output goes to one of these uh, standard headphone jacks. So I needed those uh, female receptacles for this. What I actually, in my day job, uh, there's a need for a tool that we don't have. Uh, need to measure, um, we need notification of when an electrical system goes live. But the problem is, is the electrical system system is 690 volt three phase. And uh, the main control system that runs that system is offline at the time we need notification. So my plan was to simply take these and go into a microcontroller. And there I go, I can see when the voltage comes live on that large motor circuit. And then I'll probably hook it up to, uh, because the nature of the business that I do is very far away from where the people are at I'll use LoRa to transmit it and do a, a two-way link but uh, yeah cool little eBay parts and should do the job necessity is the mother of invention and in this box ah what are these I made a note these are low dropout voltage regulators these are LDOs Focus. Too close. Can't get there. Oh, what's with this camera tonight? These are a standard three pin LDO voltage regulator. What the, the key to them is, is they are a very low quiescent current. Uh, I believe I got the model number from Andreas Spice on his channel, but I thought we'd give him a try. Uh, this is the MCP 1700-3302E if you want to buy any. I'll add them to my uh, store down below as well. Next up. We got some battery chargers or battery monitoring and control boards. These are a pretty nifty little cheap breakout for uh, handy for 18650 cells uh, as a standalone. Uh, I may use these in a, a portable oscilloscope project coming up where I want to power it from uh, a battery and I don't have anything to do the battery management, so it might work. And one last one, we got three, leave just standard power supplies. Normal size barrel jack, these are a five volt supply, if I remember right, five volt, three amp supply, dirt cheap, eBay specials, nothing fancy. Uh, I'm forever looking for a five volt supply to tear apart and use in projects that I don't I don't want to use a good one for it because it's just like an intermittent use project. Well, now I've got three spares, uh, handy for Arduino projects, uh, ESP8266 stuff, you name it. Uh, and that'll actually, that would probably run a Pi just fine too. So that's it for today, guys. Good luck in all your electronics ventures. I'm glad you could join me. I hope you like these electronics videos. Click a thumbs up on this video if you like these. It really, really helps the channel. I'll catch you guys out in the Discord chat, which is linked down below. Or I'll catch up with you next video. Cheers.